I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby, I'm bad Hey everybody, Charlie here with IC Customs Today we're gonna do something a little bit different I normally just do uh, my how-tos and stuff on the bikes that I build But today we gotta work on one of my most used tools that I use is my Eastwood sandblast cabinet. I really like the cabinet. There's two flaws that I don't. One is those pain in the ass window film protecting things and the inside being dark blue. So it makes it when those things start getting dingy, you know how it is, it gets hard to see in there. And this could probably work for anybody that's got a different uh, sandblast cabinet. But today we got something new that's gonna upgrade it, make things a lot better. Uh, behind me is my Eastwood and my shop's open. I have a lot of motorcycle projects going on all the time. Um, I have probably six motorcycles here in my shop right now. But, so I get a lot of dust in here. So I made a little window, this was to protect keep dust from getting down on the actual window in, uh, in here so I keep this covered it's just some little random thing that slips over the top um, but what we're fixing to do is take and replace that entire window assembly that's right my brother works for a company and they have a lot of industrial sandblast equipment and he had get brought it to my attention because he came over and used it complaining about how much of a pain of butt it is to see in there. Even with the light in there, the dark blue in there makes it tough. So I got some white of that um, uh, sealer I'm gonna put in here. Um, I'm gonna put paint white on the inside of it, but that's not gonna be today and it's not gonna be in this video. But the white uh, seal coat that's going in there will go in there to help try to reflect some of the light in there. But this particular item I got is a whole new window. I'll kind of go over it. Um, I got it from a company called ID Blast. Uh, they make a window set. And you see, it'll go right over the existing place. So only thing I have to do is remove this particular item so far from what I see and drill four new holes. And, and it also has a real tempered glass window in it, not this plastic thing that's easily scratched. And they sell replacement glass, so if you break it or whatever, you can get that. It's this whole entire kit, and the nice thing is with it, let me get finished with it, is it has a film uh, roll holder. So you loosen these four wing nuts on here and pull a fresh new thing of film through it, tighten them back down, bada bing, it tightens it up, and you got fresh film on there, so you don't have to peel you stupid things off of here, clean the adhesive off of it, worry about scratching your plastic window when you're gonna have a tempered glass, the plastic from uh, is gonna ride underneath here, protect your window and be and change in seconds rather than you know half an hour messing with this thing. So this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. Most likely I'll speed it up through it so we can run this through, but it looks like it's gonna be fairly simple. So it's basically just gonna re remove all these screws on here. There's about 12 screws on here. Take it out, uh, set this up in place, mark the holes, drill them, and it comes with the hardware and everything you need to put it on here. So anyways, we'll be back. I'm gonna pause it for right now, get all my tools ready to go, and then we'll go from there. Hold on. All right, we're here. I got my tools. Um, I'm gonna go with some power tool action here. So basically we gotta remove all the screws that holds the existing window in place. So we'll get started on that right now. I pray that someone's gonna help me. Ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact. Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. I'm sick of being cautious. I'ma go cause something can't stop this. I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift. Sick of hearing. Alright, the nuts are all removed. Oh. Yep, all the way around. They left the bolts in there. And just come through, pull all the, maybe yours will come out as easy. Hopefully it will. And I didn't realize it actually has an actual plastic over a real glass in there. 
some of you didn't know. There is real glass under here. Voila. There's that. So we're just gonna leave the existing film on there. I'll get this all cleaned up and we'll come back for the next step. All right, the instructions tell me I need to remove all the wing nuts and the actual physical bolts that's on the actual frame itself so that we can stick the frame. You have to take this top frame section off and then you set it on there and mark these holes of the four bolts because you've got to drill holes big enough for those bolt heads to pass through into your existing window. So that's what we're going to do. I'll get this taken apart and we'll come back. Okay, we got the windows off. Um, I got the frame disassembled. Um, basically, there is a hard plastic trim that goes around the inside of it. And then it's got this foam rubber uh, seal on there. Now, if you'll notice, you lose a little bit of window space, but I'm willing to lose that for the convenience of being able to change my film without having to you know, remove and clean and then put a whole new pain in the ass thing back on there. Excuse my language, but it, it is that aggravating. Um, so anyways, um, as you can see, the frame is almost the same width as the original, there's still a dust trail on each side. Um, so this, this entire frame is probably about a quarter of an inch wider than the original plastic frame that was mounted on here, which is perfect. So what we had to do is when we remove the four bolts out of here, we have to set this up on here. Um, the height of the window is very little loss as far as uh, this opening, but this opening you lost a couple inches, but like I said, the benefit is outweighs the loss. Um, so basically you have to center this out. You have to mark your, these four holes so you can drill the 9 16 holes into the into this the Eastwood lid so that you can, the bolts will protrude inside the framework. There is a seal that goes around this afterwards so it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, this is where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and then we'll uh, mark it. I have my Sharpie. Uh, if you want to measure and do all that kind of stuff yourself, you can go for it. But I have a nice little dust trail on here. I'm able to see it and uh, you can get it. So basically this frame is basically going to almost protrude just a little bit. If you feel on the inside, you'll feel the original opening and the feeling's about the same. So. Um, it's nice that you don't have to measure or anything like that as far as trying to uh, offset it one direction or the other. It's basically, I think this frame is hanging off maybe a sixteenth of an inch past it. No problem at all. So while we got it, it looks square on here if you want to level it and all that stuff, but I'm able to eyeball it and see that the alignment is really well. And I'll go ahead and mark my four holes to be drilled. Get a sharpie if it'll reach. reaching all right yep they're on there so I have my uh, drill somewhere I think I brought it over here help me grab it and we'll be right back all right I got an eighth inch uh, drill bit in here I also have my step bit but I like to drill a, a pilot hole first um, and I also have my punch so I'll go ahead and punch this kind of want to be accurate with this because those bolt holes or bolt heads have to go through this so you'll definitely want to make sure that you get a good center and a, a good centering drill so henceforth the reason why I wanted to drill a pilot hole versus risking it walking out with uh, the standard step drill. Great. All right, we have those. That's the eighth inch pilot holes. So now we'll put the, uh, do the step drill. I gotta see it because mine gets all dirty.
I will probably get something. Actually, I'll open this up. I don't know if I can, because you get a pretty rough uh, surface on there. Just check everything. I don't want those sharp edges in there. And somehow my head will find it. Stand by, I have a chamfering bit. This one's gonna be the only hard one. It's up here. There we Voila, we have four holes. All right, so let me get this frame assembled back together and we'll come back. And All right, we got that back on. It fits in our holes like we wanted. Um, being this kit was made for a different, uh, we gonna call it a different sandblast cabinet. Um, knowing where the foam needs to go, I'm gonna take and put a Sharpie mark. I'm basically just gonna trace around the existing this new frame, I can easily wipe that off with alcohol or acetone afterwards. So basically all I'm wanting to do is be able to see uh, where the outline of this is so I can put the foam tape on there because the, in the directions they tell you to uh, put it around the existing foam. And, there, and that would be no way because it would be kind of off. I guess you could technically put it around the existing foam, um, but I think I'll, I want to be able to make sure I got good coverage so that henceforth I chased it. So you may or may not see it's an issue. Um, as you can see for the outer ones, these outer edges, the foam is going to have to go over the existing holes um, and it'll potentially protrude into this area here. Um, down at the lower section, so the, the foam will probably go a little bit inside these holes right here. But for the most part, she looks pretty good. And I'll um, get this wiped off for a minute. We got all the dirt and dust out of the way so that we can put the foam on there. Be ready to go. Said so this comes in the kit and you order the frame kit. I'll give you all the, uh, all the parts you needed. This whole project's less than 150 bucks doing this whole project. And that included a roll, a 10 foot roll of the replacement film. They sell the film on there. It's like $10 a roll for a 10 foot film. So you can, and you get bulk pricing if you want to get, you know, multiple rolls. So uh, kind of worth it. And uh, to, to my understanding of my brother, you can get this film is kind of universal for a lot of uh, different things. So you can actually find it on Amazon and eBay and uh, McMaster car if you shop there. So uh, what we do is we just go through and start adding it on. This life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag Stay unpacked, baby I'm bad, yeah. baby I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that, I ain't gonna wait that Maybe East will watch this and make their own. All right, our foam is up. We got a little bit of scrap left over. Not enough so in case you mess up. So be, be gentle and be careful. All right, so we put this back on, I guess. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim out uh, my existing, my bolt holes. And those will leave me enough foam above and below it to uh, allow the bolt heads to clear on there. So I'll stop the video and then uh, I'll get these trimmed out and then we'll be ready to move on to the next. The uh, foam's in, I trimmed around the holes so you can see I have still have foam in place around it so no seepage of the actual sand from the inside. Um, you'll place this in position 
you'll have to probably press down on it because you're trying to compress that foam and make sure that your bolt heads go into the holes before you mark and drill because you have to uh, drill these uh, four corners here for your mounting uh, part and it's going to be tough so I may have to get a different different color sharpie because the black is kind of it is darkening it up but you would have thought that they would want you to do this put the foam afterwards but maybe that might be something better to do I'm following the instructions and just reading it out in this video to you so then after that you have to drill and tap uh, the holes out for a quarter 20 bolt I happen to have one of those combo drill and tap bits this is really thin steel so this will be no problem with it but I'll still uh, pre-drill with a pilot of my eighth inch drill bit um, it's gonna be tough because you can't see through this foam and I can't actually punch it so I'm hoping I don't walk <laughs> Voila, one of the pilot holes drilled. Oops. May do this from the vault now. Much better here. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want Voila, we have four tapped holes so what we do is we dig out the hardware they give you in there they give you the all the bolts being this is really thin metal you do not want to over tighten this stuff and hopefully it'll be my 10 millimeter because everything else has been metric with this so hopefully my 10 millimeter will fit yes so 10 millimeter head on a quarter 20 socket all right, so I'm gonna get this installed because my batteries, I don't want to lose my battery. So I'll get this installed and then we'll come back. All right, the window frame is installed. Um, it tells you in the instructions that they get, the, the amount of hole, front mounting holes will vary depending on which window unit you get. We said the description of this one will be down in the description section, um, which one I got. I don't think you could fit the bigger ones on here. So you, you'll wanna go with the one that I have already chosen but it comes with two extra screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out and center it and put another set of the two extra bolts so it can pull the center section down because the foam is actually bowing it in the center. So I'm gonna, and it shows in the instructions that some of them have uh, six bolts holding it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this drilled and then uh, we'll come back. All right, we got the, uh, the frame is just sitting on here right now. So now we have the Mylar dispenser which is this thing here. It's just simple build of metal and it's got a little rubber seal on it. So basically it's got to go either on the right side or the left side. It says on the right, but if you have an obstruction, you can do it on the left. It looks pretty simple. You're just basically lining it up between that for the window and then your Mylar will feed underneath your window and come out here and you just trim it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, marked and drilled. It comes with the hardware. So it's, again, it's the quarter 20 uh, screws. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this marked and then we'll get it drilled and I'll be right back. All right, we have the uh, Mylar uh, older already. The holes are drilled and tapped. So ready to install it. This is what your Mylar looks like. Comes in a roll. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that installed. Get the frame off of here right now because we have to set the glass in after this. And then we're all done. But it looks like you can do it, you can install the mylar with this thing still in place. So I'll go ahead and Get my screws for this one and we'll move on to that piece. Sorry, 
it's a little clumsy trying to do this. Careful, like I said, do not over tighten it. Just a little bump. Voila, it's in there. And then you take your mylar film. Like I said, it's an opening at the top, but it looks like it's gonna be a pain to get in there. So we're gonna have to, have to take this off. So let me take that off real quick. I'm sure with other, with the, the one that this is made for, uh, it's probably not an issue, but the light box uh, hits it. But still, I ain't complaining. It already looks nicer with just having this on there. So. Instructions don't really tell you. It just, it just says install it, basically. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tighten back up. And we'll grab the window. They sell replacement windows, and like I said, this is made of tempered glass. Put the frame back on. You should never have to take the frame back off. You only have to loosen the screws that physically hold it. They come with some the wing nuts that's on it. Wing nuts back on. Voila, she's done. So what you basically do when you're ready to change out your Mylar, this goes underneath the glass. So you just loosen up the four wing nuts, pull you a whole new fresh strip through there, cut the residual off. Voila, you got a brand new window back in there and you don't have to clean any glue. You don't have to peel off the old one. You don't have to peel those little strips anymore. You just straight up pull another one in. I mean, you could be in the middle of sandblast and can't see anymore. Voila, up four screws, strip it down, retighten it back up and go back at it again. That's fast. I mean, and it comes in a 10 foot roll, so it looks like you can get uh, at least five or six changes per roll in a 10 foot roll. So anyways, this is the IDS Blast uh, window kit. Uh, I will, like I said, post a link down in the description. I'll give you all the part numbers and the actual uh, link to their website so you can purchase and get the same thing. That's it, man. It's it. It's done. I'm ready to start blasting. So it's great because I got some rims I need to do and some other motorcycle parts that I'm working on for my FJ project. So please like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, if you got questions, definitely feel free to drop them down there in the uh, questions and I'll do my best to help you. To, no one paid me to do this. I'm doing it on my own. I bought it with my cash. Um, and this is what we got. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, thank kudos to my brother for pointing it out to me. And here we got it. Then again, see you on the other builds. That's it. Bye. All right, we're not technically done. I wanted to show you what it looked like. So you can see it in there up close. Here's the residual Mylar window. But basically look at that nice and clean and i can do this in seconds have a nice clean window again anyways now that's it
Enjoy.